We're out of time. Wow. Got a nice crowd here for you guys. Yeah, we got a whole group of people, group of people here at 11 o'clock at night to discuss killing the undead. You're either very dedicated or you have no lives. Uh, we all uh, saw the red. A little from column A, a little from column B. Yes. Well, why don't we start introductions? Kind of scenario. We will start here. Yeah, My name's David L. Burkhead. Uh, uh, in a uh, encounter. At ease! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they better have to work. Um, I was an NCO for one for a while. <laughs> um, a um, I'm a scientist, uh, writer, mostly short fiction, science fiction, some fantasy. Um, working on a documentary piece on um, zombies in space. What type of science, if I can ask? I, I my degree is in physics. I work in atomic force microscopy. Ooh. So we can uh, check out the. Um, you can check out the structure of the, um, of the zombie virus and bacteria when, they, when the outbreak starts. Nice. Hi, my name is Robert Boyd. I'm the unlisted member of this panel. I talked with Carrie and got arrangements to come here, but didn't actually get put in the uh, program through one of those mystic might possibly be undead. Son, I can I can attest to that. <laughs> I don't I don't I may reflect in mirrors, but not in the program. So yeah, uh, I'm uh, one of those little project or prodigies you see floating around and getting really annoyed by. So yeah, that's my entire job in life. Uh, yeah, and now I'll turn it over to someone more qualified. Oh, so we started over there. Now we're going back. This yes. is. Okay, sure, why not? Hi, I'm Sarah Harvey, um, the other Portuguese Sarah. And tell the other white bitch. I'm an author and a costume designer and costume historian. And. Um, Chicks dig dead guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julie Cochran. Uh, I'm a science fiction author, and since it is after 9.30 p.m., I am officially undead. Just ask anybody who knows me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a Wiccan priestess, I'm clergy, I forget about these things when I'm undead. Yes. And, um, you know undead? Excuse me? Emo undead? Something like that, okay. yes, that's what happens if you bury your emotions. They come back as emo zombies. <laughs> Next. Actually, Mike and I had some great business ideas on how to address the emo and dead with how to tie a noose videos. <laughs> 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 it, was, uh, it was box cutters, right? Yes. 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 Well, my name is Larry Korea. Uh, I'm qualified to be on this panel because I have battled the forces of the undead my entire adult life. Uh, and, I write, and I write books. Yeah, Monster Hunter International, a uh, a marvelous uh, um, documentary. Uh, yeah, documentary. documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Mike Williams, and I've written military fiction, military science fiction, some fantasy, product reviews. Uh, people send me stuff to redundant. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, people send me stuff to test uh, guns, uh, optics, backpacks. I take it out and try and break it, and then I tell them. And sometimes they get to keep the stuff, and sometimes they pay me for it. Uh, I also served in the military. Uh, as far as I know, the military does not have a department in charge of the undead, and they should, because at some point, it's inevitable that we're going to have to battle the undead. Um, Larry pointed out when he stopped by my room earlier. Actually, no, it's David. Yes. Out, this is an ideal zombie hunting weapon. I've got a nice, long edge for clean decapitations. With uh, a single stroke, it's important. Yeah, should minimize splatter. Uh, fast and effective, and you've also got a, a pointy end. <laughs> also, the handle does not extend up through the blade, so you don't get the handle hanging up in, uh, in the way through as you do. Actually, that's it. very useful for emo zombies because you can sight along the end, and with emo zombies, it's it's very important to hack along the dotted lines. <laughs> Remember, cut lengthwise. Yes. I think the first thing is how do you know what type of undead you are facing? <laughs> the emo zombie is actually the easiest to recognize because you have these little shaped colored bands here. You have the hair down at an angle, and usually it's a fluorescent color like blue or pink. 
Very, to very <laughs> heavy eyeliner. You're listening to Skinny Puppy or uh, Death Metal. No. Yes, exactly. It's not even more. No, it's all, no it's I don't do cutting. I'm goth, not emo. I don't do the cutting. Goth. These days. Zombies. She really looks like a teenage girl or a teenage boy, but in the case of emo zombies, the, this. They tried the to look like girls. Oh, there you go. I I I have been past for a teenager for a long time. Yes, he does look like a teenage girl. Not anymore. Starting with a with a coarser definition. Ill vampires, zombies, uh, well, zombies. Yeah. How do you determine the difference? Well, if it's something you're blood, it's probably right. Well, sure. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 So they've been to the mostly mindless killing machines, at least in most of the representations I've seen. So how do you and tell them there be from a smell? You know, Democrats? <laughs> <laughs> Sports fans. Yeah, uh, I mean, yo. Shouldn't um, there be a smell? Nightclub uh, patrons. Ringers. Yeah, I mean, how do you tell? Well, the only, well, you got, well you, the only way to be sure. Kill them all. Nuke the site for them. <laughs> Well, I mean, there you go. The difference, I would think, between most zombies and most ravers would be the ravers, ravers would have like pills. the little glow sticks right. and be excreting a massive amounts of sweat due to dancing and ecstasy, where the zombies might not. Yeah. Wouldn't the ravers well, tend to ignore you while the zombies chase you? How do you tell? How do you tell ravers from Pac-Man? Because they're running around. In dark rooms, listening to repetitive electronic music and popping pills. <laughs> <laughs> no. well, distinguishing zombies from uh, rabid gamers, this can be very difficult because the smell is very similar. Yeah. Yeah. But if you power. push it into a shower, uh, the zombie will not fight, but the gamer, the smell will wash off. <laughs> this the smell is will how you tell. The smell no. will wash off a gamer. But not the a zombie, zombie will not fight going into the water. I'm not sure I want to get close enough to try and shove them into a shower. I, I think I like it the is a old fire hose now if you're going to go with that. Isn't Sorry? Let's shove them with one of those things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. If they scream, they're gamers they were alive. Still feel cool. <laughs> I've had it reported to me. Okay. Also, they bleed. They going to bleed. Sure? Oh, gamers so don't look as attractive women. No, they don't. Why? Here, here's the key thing. Even though zombies are not sentient, they do. They do um, have an interest in brains. Yeah. Most of these other forms do not. Zombies are only interested in women for their brains. True. Sure. Sure. That, and, and that, that is the stress of the I think our women are in danger. That would be a for the lady. So, so, just remember, when you want somebody to be interested in your brain, and think of what you're down. actually attracted to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Shut <laughs> <laughs> let's let's start with vampires. Um, good, good ways to kill vampires. Mm, Eighty-one millimeter mortar fire. <laughs> Decapitation usually works well on on most undead, including vampires. Uh, no, what are, um, I remember in uh, the uh, documentary of um, Dracula, Love at First Bite. Yeah. And, uh, three silver bullets through the heart didn't work. No, that's not a werewolf. No, Denfield. That's a werewolf. Yes, yeah, so apparently it works for werewolf. certain vampires. Different, different cultures have different vampires. There's about From what 30 I've, of them. I know, and you have to know which, which is which. From what I have read and what I have studied, it appears that most vampires, no matter what species they are, have this tendency towards OCD. So <laughs> CDO. Alphabetical order. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, if you were to spill things in must front of them, seeds. they must count them and put them in order before they can like continue. Like the counts. Yes, <laughs> like the counts. <laughs> so, so, that was, so, so Sesame Street was, was actually very really fast to teach children <laughs> how to look out for vampires. Exactly. That's sad. Okay. Sesame Street might have the most historically There was a wonderful scene, scene in an otherwise horrible vampire movie. There was a wonderful scene in an otherwise horrible van, uh, Dracula movie, I can't remember which one it was, um, where they, they were throwing a Vampires have to count stuff, and so what it was, the vampire had escaped where these scientists were doing experiments on it. So the one scientist took a bucket of rice and threw the rice on the ground, and he's like, ha-ha, you can't, you know, cross until you count it, and, and Dracula kind of looks and goes, 40,115. <laughs> 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 and then he goes and kills the guy. So Dracula was rain mad? He, yeah, he was, uh, yeah, some kind Very of, fast. you know, some, uh, Extremely uh, good accountants. Sorting out the difference between... <laughs> Your classic 
vampire versus a politician. <laughs> Victims of your classic vampire will have wounds right around here. Victims of your politician vampire will tend to be collapsed right about here. <laughs> there are also <laughs> be holes in the wallet where they yeah. got sucked yeah. 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 Get a, in, yeah. Come in here. Um, this was in a uh, D and D game. Okay, we're talking about real vampires here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Go ahead. Okay. Um, you know, I you know shoot him with a uh, hypodermic dart containing holy water and garlic. Yes. Yes. Anemic shock and um, burn. I'll cover this one though. Hypodermic needles have a lousy ballistic coefficient. <laughs> also, which whole type holy water? I mean, what religion is it I, I by? Because that. if the vampire's a middle, you know, Muslim well, vampire, would a uh, Christian blessing yeah. work on it? Uh, and, and in my what case, if the vampire's an atheist? I'm an yeah. agnostic. <laughs> so if I turned into a vampire, would you have to hold the question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I, and of course, there's, there's the point, there was, I don't know which way it was, but the holy symbol only works if you believe. Right. It has to be their faith, and yeah. you have to believe it. That was in my documentary well, as well. Yes. So I it, find so that if a vampire doesn't flee from a pentagram, that uh, a wicker man makes a good plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Even an atheist would be really Go, ahead, go ahead and elaborate on that, for people who don't know what that is. Uh, fire. Oof. Yes. Yeah. They generally don't like fire. Yeah, wicker cage. One of the things, one of the things, things in like general that is useful for dealing with the undead is proper ecclesiastical support. Now, this is a good this our, Go our working ammo card. This is a good way for folks to make friends with your local Latter Day Saint church <laughs> because essentially every adult male is an ordained elder in the church. You have lot large quantities of you know. Quantity has a quality all its own. And I can send two nice young men on your bi uh, on bicycles to your home. Um, <laughs> also, the Mormons have records on every dead guy in town. <laughs> Are you still on the rolls in the church? I'm still on the rolls, but I um, am very much lapsed. <laughs> okay. Nice yes, I'm an agnostic these days, so, 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 so you, you practiced enough that you didn't need to practice anymore because you got it right. <laughs> I guess. Okay. See, atheists are always prepared if they need to hold up an old holy symbol because their holy symbol is nothing, so they've always got it. <laughs> so like, high five or... <laughs> so, so, so wait, this you're man. out zombie hunting with an atheist Mike's and really their, be my holy their symbol. horn is... is Storming you, and he says, "I got nothing." Okay? <laughs> I've always had a concern about that's great. The uh, the cunning zombie uh, apocalypse. Everyone here knows the the basics of how you stop a zombie, right? Headshot. Yes, or decapitation. What happens when the chickens get infected? I think we're fucked. Clutch. Shot. So what about like uh, zombie? I, I, Larry and I discussed this on uh, Bane's War once. Ghosts. How do you fight ghosts? Salt. Holy water. My proposal actually was the giant ducted fans they use for ventilation <laughs> and, and a blood porch. You, you suck the ghost into the into it, scramble it up with the fan, and blow it through the torch. I thought this was a wonderful idea for any vaporous creature. Yeah. Or, and if it's really big, if you skip the blow torch, you can go right to like uh, vaporized fuel. Yes. And or just blow the crap. So that'd be a really good way of taking out ring rates as well. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. So you're Unless talking a, a gas turbine, in other words. Yes. Well, it's one, of, it's one of those ducted fans for, for ventilation in you know, uh, coal plants and that. But for um, the Wraith King, you need a girl on your team, just in case. No hand of man. In Wicker, we have like. many people write their own ritual mm -hmm. liturgy, and since you have such a wide variety of people writing so very much, and it tends to be in verse, uh, <laughs> this has research value, uh, you understand, dealing with ghosts. Uh, I recommend bad poetry readings as a method of boring the ghost into the great beyond. Bogon poetry? Or not? Doesn't, doesn't oh, have to be that emo bad. poetry. Emo it, it, oh. what, what, if, what, what, what if it's an emo vampire? We're prepared if we're dealing emo with emo poetry. Emo poetry. I'm not sure if we might be better off with the ghost. You can, yeah. distinguish, the you can distinguish an emo ghost 
when it makes worse poetry back at you. <laughs> well, why would you want to do that? Why provoke it like that? Worse than that? Yeah, well, <laughs> and the reason why plan A, B, and C for me is fire or explosive. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, go right I was already being yeah, honest. Can, can, can you just ignore the emo ghost? Will they yeah. yeah. for somebody else more sympathetic? Well, I, no, I'm sure you can out poetry anymore, but you just don't want to get into that. I why do. I've I I yeah. written haiku for one book. Yeah. Believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> I wrote uh, haiku yeah, I lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> There once was a monk from Hanshu who thought limericks should have legend to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, I think I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> there once was a man from Verdun. <laughs> it was done, babe. Alright, so we've uh, got well, ghosts, vampires, zombies. What else can we address here? Lich. I, have, I would have no idea. Let's discuss a lake. What would we do to fight? Like, Once again, I'd fall back on explosives. But it's kind of like a good thing is yeah. they tend to hang with cold and damp, so. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, there's a good dehydrator. A good dehydrator, then. But the curse. That's not a bad idea. Sorry, go ahead. Who's saying Art Lich is just possessed zombies? I was like, yeah, so it's your ghost zombie combination. Aren't they supposed to be incredibly dry? So any any fire base to. I, to I would recommend not killing liches. I would recommend capture always. and then sail to Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> There's always some bleeding part of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, just mercenary. Catch a relief lich program. Duck him in diesel fuel or paraffin. Why did Blizzard? Don't encourage You could probably use them as a torch for hunting. Based on the next door OS off of it. Yeah. What's the shelf life of a soaked lich? I don't think I've done that. Well, much like sun dry Can or vacuum wrap? As long as the oil is cooked. Well, vacuum seal should be technically. I'm not indefinitely. Yeah, I don't have a lot of juice. Can you can? Yeah, you should be able to. Wow. I think they the FDA is requiring an expiration date. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, you mentioned the dehydrator. I'm thinking of that for zombies, actually. If you've got zombies using up, you just need some really bright sun lamps. And, uh, and, uh, convection you know, heat. Yes, Ooh. convection heat. That's and like a terribly slow method. method. But zombies, generally, I just have to talk about this. What is the convection? Is it ethical to sell dehydrated jerky to California? Uh, dehydrated zombies to Californians as trail mix? No. I think I've already done that. That's in California. No, I thought you asked if it was legal. Undead trailing. Selling trail mix to Californians is unethical at all. Because what do you have? There's granola. It's fruits, nuts, and flakes. That makes it's cannibalism. Well, if that's cannibalism, then if you dehydrate the zombies and, and sell the bits, then that's not cannibalism. Well, I think, I think they've already done that, Max. Wouldn't that California. be the only moral thing? That's saltines. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> No, that would come to the market, market where I Chris I'll never sweet think of this in the bar in Southern mm. California. Crackle, 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 yeah. Mm. Ask the Catholic Church. Crackers have been undead for... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, should, should anyone who's ever attended uh, communion be familiar with the undead? I mean, they've you know eaten bits. Yeah. Actually, yeah. after tasting the holy wafers and crackers, those holy wafers are pretty horrible. I've tasted cardboard better than that. Do you eat the cardboard? Well, I've never had hard cat. Zombies need salt. They had a movement to change it to wheat thins, but that's But the hard cat. Yeah. Yeah. You get all sorts of snacks in the mail. Yeah. It's a very controversial controversial decision. But it's still a lot of work. You still need a rim shot. We have we have the instant rim shot website. Someone got a lot. Larry needs one. <laughs> the, uh, you think uh, he's joking? <laughs> no. Okay. He still needs a rim shot. Yeah. This is dead serious. This, 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 this is serious up. business for people. This is how we make our living. When the day comes. Yeah. This is how we make our living. Handle it's it's been not dead. <laughs> so, They're everywhere. What's your opinion on the scourge of undead prostitution? 
Wow. <laughs> I'm sounding like a politician again. <laughs> Do anything for money? No soul? I mean, that's not... Not that, not a second. It's me, Roy Bitch. Yeah. Wait, that was well, the dead do vote in Illinois. And over and over and all, they they vote in New York City. <laughs> that, that's that's two other places. Uh, the big cemetery in Indianapolis. We have a four square block cemetery, and there were political signs every ten feet outside the front of that cemetery. They couldn't cross onto Holy Land, onto Holy Ground, but they had all their campaign. Slimes right outside. They were, they were, they were, they were yeah, they were working vote early on. Yeah. The yeah. zombies to get up and walk. Yeah. I mean, you know, when when it was when it was oh, he's election he's day, I made sure I took my uh, took my shotgun with me because you know it's the traditional weapon for fighting but, you know, with zombies. Oh, the dead. They're so lazy. They just lay around. Zombies are fanatic so? voters. That's why they're looking for brains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to them. Uh, <laughs> shotgun looks. Oh, shotgun looks. Um, what combination of rock salt, powdered silver, or silver dimes? Uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus. Dimes are horrible past like five or six feet. Yeah, so, so just, just silver shot. That's mostly for shot, you know. Yeah, well, just, just silver shot would work. Future reference. Yeah, but you could, uh, you could, one of the concerns with a shotgun is that the uh, pellets deform down the barrel. So you could cushion them with, you know, phosphorus powder and, uh, you know, dried garlic. And uh, you have a, oh, you don't want to moisten it all together with polar water. I, 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 I recommend um, hydrating copper salts with holy water. That makes really good solid uh, shotgun shell filling, um, and it's antifungal as well. <laughs> well, that's how it works on top. Hydrated holy water. I, I, I do have yeah. something that you know. I think the. the <laughs> Scientists need to take apart and start experimenting the effect of it. You know, no, perhaps anhydrous copper sulfate. Uh, the boiling copper the sulfate garlic the in the holy water. Yes. And then taking that 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 moisture and then bathing the silver buckshot in that before packing it in. The holy water would just off. dry and then you're going to burn off. Well, now the well, principle no, of contagion is that... Uh, on each of those silver buckshot, you have the essence of the garlic yeah. and the essence of the holy water. It, it's possible through the, through the magical principles of contagion that it can retain the properties of the holy water. Right. Just, so, well, does it take... Does it take... Whiskey? I'm a scientist. I know these things. <laughs> <laughs> does it take whiskey to kill Irish vampires? Holy fire! I, 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 like I don't think so. I think it strengthens them. Yeah. It's 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 it might be stronger. I got a question. Irish whiskey, Julie. Yeah, I got a question here. Speaker, um, silver nitrate solution is that uh, hydrous? Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. so you could use that. You could you could have a priest bless that. It would be holy water and silver. And it'd be great on the uh, zomb uh, on the zombie prostitutes as well. Because <laughs> it, would, it would take care of many of those STDs as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just keep away from the fire boys. Can you mix that with a little bit of DMSO? So, so, so I was penetrate. thinking DMSO yeah. with quinine yeah. would yeah. well, yeah. also be a good mix. Yeah. Penetrating effect. That's a giveaway. Yeah. Yeah, DMSO and uh, yeah, and blessed uh, silver nitrate solution. I've never experienced. I've just gone to like you know the, the conviction of an idea at about sixty five hundred feet per second. Yeah, and uh, well, the silver right nitrate right. will not initially turn vampires black though because it requires uh, the the light mm -hmm. to activate it. So you you've got to have the sunlight. So well, that takes care of the problem. You need by one itself. of these in case of zombie out in case of a vampire outbreak. Is it UV? <laughs> yeah, 200 liberals. Well, epileptic vampires. <laughs> 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 Where did you get that? Um, it's, it's an O light. Um, yeah. 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 You, you can find them online. Are you yeah. trying to start a vampire rave? 200 liberals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you'll know. The vampire is <laughs> the zombie. They'll start raving. Also, also no, funny at your hotel. I think vampires don't have social gatherings. Yeah, they don't. 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 Yeah, they Flashlight kill vampires. That means the moonlight would kill vampires. This reflected sunlight. If it's too That's easy, to shift. Yeah, it's too easy. Vampires, very good method 
is to take their probable victims and dose them with throhypnol. <laughs> <laughs> David's got some here. The, the, when the, the light reflected from the sun, you don't carry the um, the higher frequencies, the ultraviolet, and so forth, which, we, which is what is believed to be the ki the killing factor of sunlight when it comes to vampires. So, so you need you need the ultraviolet. So yeah. your sun lamps, your tanning beds, these are useful techniques to use against vampires. But the, so you the, you the, electric, uh, the electric arc is your friend. Yeah. I, I have a question. But the, uh, the, the, the tanning bed's awkward because you're going to have to have two people carrying it around. <laughs> the port portable sun lamps are much better. Julie, you mentioned dosing the potential victims with rohypnol. It does raise the question, so what exactly has been happening to the vampires since the 60s? <laughs> Considering that you don't really know what's in the bloodstream of the potential victim. Well, I think... This is uh, why there has been a population crash of vampires. When a vampire gets the munchies, die. there's a problem. Well, on the puppy show, when you had um, Spike, he did mention what happens when a vampire feeds off the flower tribe. Yeah, okay, you, you, have, you have to understand. understand. The, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was originally meant as a training film, but it kind of got out of hand and it got a little beyond what actual vampires are like. Yeah. You've, got to, you've got to take that with a very large grain of salt. Yeah, if a vampire if passes out and gets bitten by another vampire, what happens? It wakes up cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what happens to the one that bit the, the, the vampire? Does that have any effect at all? Or it, it seems like you have some kind of... Just not Depends on your memos, doesn't it? Something? Yeah, or boost in the effect. Do vampires oh. have vampires? Yes. You okay. If you believe the animes. Well, there you go. You need the animes. The Japanese have been researching this a lot longer than we have. And also, you've got to remember that the training <laughs> films aren't always entirely accurate. No. Okay. So <laughs> to use a little caution in, just, in, in judging them. Sarah. Uh, if, if clearly, if a vampire bites another vampire, I mean, once or twice it's fine, but after a while you get an outbreak of mad vampire disease. <laughs> 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 Well, that explains much. Vampire prions. Wow. <laughs> Severe hazard to the zombie community. How do you kill vampire prions? I mean, you need, you need 800 degrees to kill regular prions. Ooh, I'd say we dust off the nips aside from the orbit. Yeah. It's the only way to be sure. 800, 800 so degrees. So is that the source of mad zombie disease? Yes. Shouldn't we try to enhance vampire prions? Why? We're not trying to cure the vampires. Well, yeah, but yeah, there's, well, there's, some it, it crosses are. the species barrier. Well, it's not even the species oh, barrier. True. It crosses the the mortality. Barrier. Living, yeah, the living yeah. undead barrier. Well, yeah. it, it's not quite undead, but what would happen if one of your prion infected zombies bit a werewolf? <laughs> it's called a Vukodi. We have a secret. It's not it pretty. depends upon whether the vampire bites the werewolf or the werewolf bites the vampire. Well, it's a vampire <laughs> werewolf. Not, 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 not just a zombie werewolf. werewolf. Well, it's a vampire. It's a, actually a zombified vampire werewolf. Green <laughs> <laughs> monster hunter outfits. Yeah, well, the, the problem with that is when you when you cut the head off, it takes about thirty seconds for the head to fall off. That's the problem that you run with run into with that. And so this, you know, you've heard of the dead man's ten seconds. Well, this is the dead man's half hour. <laughs> My question is, do zombies cook uh, werewolf brains in braised butter? I think garlic. No, I think they're lactose like intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would imagine they would be. Actually, zombies. Oh, so I think they use olive oil instead. You know, zombies okay. don't even produce adenosine triphosphate. Are they from so the south? That's why they have such a hard time moving. Mm -hmm. well, then, then just go straight for the bacon grease. Yeah, so just the bacon grease. Honestly, so, I, I like a mix of all three. Uh, and I apologize if I change direction just a touch. How do you balance the mysticism versus the science? Well, you need both. That's why we were talking, I mean, discussing uh, earlier. You need proper ecclesiastical perspective. Yeah, I think it depends <laughs> on your personal philosophy of how you kill monsters. I find the spring <laughs> scale is most economical. But I, I have, I, I do appreciate you know, the concept that the holy symbol only works if you truly believe. That's been proven, and I've demonstrated it, because I, am, I firmly believe that anything human size will be stopped by a 230-grain, 45-caliber stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been wrong. But that is important. important. Yes. It, it is my holy symbol. It, it works every time. I'd like to behind armor. Well, yeah. But, yeah oh, much armor. Hit me. Well, but you also have to believe in the armor. Spreading. Yes. Mike, I really thought that you believed in the 50 BMG. Uh, long range, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's a little awkward. Yeah, you see my yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult it's to use a, a 35 pound weapon in your living room. Yeah. So if you're going hunting for the undead with the members of the science track, do you hand out slide rules? Hmm. Personary scientist, have slide rules. 
In any kind of disaster, you can expect that the undead will survive and have as many problems as the human survivors. And if you're needing to, to work things out, your calculator might not be working. For example, EMP, for example, uh, if power goes out, a slide rule is always functional. A slide wheel, it's, it's completely... Until you get too many guts in the middle well, well, the picket is great because you That's definitely you definitely can decapitate with a picket. <laughs> yes, you can. You <laughs> need to slide. You can stake someone with that. Too. It's not a wooden one. Yes, you could stake them with a wooden uh, slide. One. Is there a reason the sort of slide rule is about like this? I mean, do they make them different sizes? Yes, yes, they they do. My slide rule is bigger than your slide yes. rule. I bet yes. 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 Y
If you wind up in very close proximity to the vampire, you, know, you can. Well, you that can, would be pretty close proximity. You can also <laughs> one for the team, all right. You can also <laughs> favor but having that latex combat could mean the difference between you dying and them dying. <coughs> but Ron Jeremy, the, part, the, the, the vampire slayer, just that's like scam. back to that card. Well, yes, but it's quite like using condoms kind of to cover the barrel of your weapons. <laughs> well, you can do that too. I have learned a lot of new things here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have these workshops. And there's 20 minutes to go. And they'll be sure to show up in some of your future books. His training manual. Oh, right. <laughs> International is a first class uh, um, Something or other. diary. Uh, of the monster. Hunting. That's why we make the yeah. big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and they've been doing this for what? 100 1895? 115 years. Uh, After this panel, does that mean that the next t shirt campaign will be, Oh, Larry Korea, no? <laughs> <laughs> I can only hope that someday I can earn my own internet meme. <laughs> so we had a question right here? Plus one other question. All right. But, uh, yeah, I, I, so I. You, all these things, it's good to have around. You know, I mean, wooden bullets, you know, natural latex condoms, you know, axes, uh, holy water, you know, silver nitrate solution. You, you never know what you're going to need when some kind of undead uprising. Occurs. Oh my God, he's one of the people who can still kill Joe Buckley. Yes. I'm actually doing it three times in one book. Tiger. Wow. <laughs> and of course, then you, need to, you need to be creativity with your field expedients. Fire is good. When which means a hairspray and a lighter if that's if that's all you have. <laughs> hey, if so, plan A is no, no. plan B is always fire. Spray pine scented disinfectant because <laughs> you have alcohol and you have pine sap in there. Uh, in essence. Yes, and good because I don't have much hairspray. <laughs> I also should point out chewing gum is made from tree sap. Chicle. Only certain yes. types are. A lot of the modern types don't even use the chicle base anymore. Yeah. Boo. I was going to say, from, don't ask me why I know this, but a uh, uh, pan cooking spray is also highly flammable. <laughs> how would you know that? FYI! Just to be sure, it's Eric there. Gum Eric and Coca-Cola? You can stick it, you can stick it on your knife or something. You, you, you wrap the... You wrap the if uh, any tree-based product works, then you wrap it around the plastic pen, and the, the chicle would turn it into an effectively a wooden steak. Yes. So, leaves... So is moving to a paperless like society of vampire um, conspiracy? Probably. Yeah. Entirely, entirely. I would have to say though that if your if your plan A requires stabbing a vampire with chewing gum, <laughs> <laughs> that's about you. Plan might be the guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. And it was fast enough. This yeah. would be a yeah. force for yeah. penetration. But you do need to have the right... So you've got to have that kind of have have weight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would a spear work if you jab the metal tip through them and then have the shaft of the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Totally Remember, from the country, the queen of battle, the pointy stick, what about and variations thereof. What about what? I threw it through. Well, it would have to stay in there. All the way through yeah, it. Yeah, because generate. we're moving the steak, actually. Well, bananas go grow on trees. What about Papa John's garlic butter? I don't know. No, no, no. I do that. Yeah, yeah, the the vampire would then release the man-eating tiger. Um, but, oh, right. 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 a banana is technically a herb. Bananas are a Yes. Yeah, bananas are a Yes, sir. I learned this from the Discovery Channel. I'm working on something for the Discovery Channel. Please, come on. It's okay, more well, science fiction than I write. Well, I learned it from my agricultural degree. I believe so. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's but you don't source. believe Larry. That's, uh, that's no, I believe him. I just don't believe the Outdoor Channel. Okay. <laughs> the, Discovery channel. But, okay. the Outdoor Channel, I believe. But, but, if he has that, very good apples job. are from trees, well, there, and yes. you know, this <laughs> whole thing about eating the apple being a bad thing, this is part of the vampire conspiracy. Well, yeah. I was thinking an apple a day keeps a vampire away. There, there you well, go. Well, remember that the staking doesn't actually Not kill the, the vampire designer. in a lot of times. It only, you know, some vampire times it will actually kill, but a lot of vampires it's only going to like hit the pause button. 
Yeah, just do so you're, you're going to need to have what other kind of, you know, you, if you don't know the kind of vampire. Stuff a lemon in the mouth. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's when this the bad boy comes in. Yeah. Or something like I'm the by the feet. Burning, burning and scattering the ashes. And remember when you cut off a human head, don't saw chalk. Yes. <laughs> well, people are using yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you chop with a, a band saw. I can see how that might not work. Yeah, but if you're sawing on it, they're flopping around. Yeah. It's messy. It's on the floor. Could you freeze them, like flash freeze them, so that they're solid like and then just... I think that only works for a futuristic uh, uh, liquid metal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. having yeah. worked with biomimetic metal. Yeah, having uh, worked with yeah. liquid nitrogen is not quite as spectacular yeah. as the movies. Yeah. It's pretty. It takes a while for anything yeah. sizable. But hanging can have a beneficial effect with vampires in holding them in place enough for you to chop. Oh, the uh, pinata method. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have all the villagers come in with very sharp objects. Take kind a of a point. No, <laughs> point red, gory, yeah. gory pinata. But if you've ever watched kids at a pinata party, remember safety is paramount. But they're blindfolded. If you're not blindfolded, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Oh. That's what you were doing. Just wrong. turn the seven years seven year olds loose and say candy will come out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen America's oh, so yeah, yeah. You use a vampire. The vampire is full of you. Yeah. Can the at a zombie kid kitty birthday party? As long as you had their head down, yes. There you go. Yeah, hang by you the ankle. You've got that's Junior the like, chewing on the uh, the vampire's intestines. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> well, sure it is, because you're getting rid of There's vampires zombies. and zombies at the same time okay. without getting your hands dirty. Oh, right. Yeah. It's a win-win Are you politically correct that you're expecting us to inflict nutrition on yeah. children at birthday parties? <laughs> <laughs> we could, the intestines could get infected by the way, and uh, crawl away on their own. Uh, I, I should have mentioned earlier, I am a member of Zombie we Squad. I was wearing a shirt yesterday. Uh, we're America's elite zombie suppression task force. Our training equipment is second to none. Uh, <laughs> we are the world's experts of ambulatory cadaver removal. Uh, so, oh, very nice. Yes. So we've studied that exceptionally. Uh, they, they, they prefer cadavers Americans, but we just call them ambulatory cadavers. Got it. Um, and the but, zombies uh, prefer brains. So with, with your expertise, perhaps you could um, en enlighten us on that bill I've heard has been introduced into the Senate for amnesty. For zombies? Yeah, for, for ambulatory cadavers, yes. Um, I believe it. I've been following the political uh, forum. I, I'm, I'm mostly on the, the how-to forum. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I did hear that it died in committee, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll come back. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. It doesn't reassure me that it died in committee. Yeah. It was an obscure death. Yeah. That's of course it's not strange. I, I think these things need as much daylight as possible. How do you kill zombie bills? Of the course it's just walking around asking you, for you brains. Take, you table like them. They're made out of wood. The star of the death is. So, yeah. how, do you, how do you limit further infection would probably be my biggest question. I mean, Fire. <laughs> we keep coming back to that. Yeah, yeah. fire is kind of a constant here. Yeah. Beyond it works. It, it, it's the ultimate broad spectrum antibiotic. If you set one on fire in a, in a large mob, if people run spice, around. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's not pain, but it's. it's, it's yeah. Is there a yeah, good acid between the But if you don't run you that, you should at yeah. least try <laughs> a lysine. So no, it's, it's a pseudo neurological reaction, but he'll run around flaming am amongst all the others. And they'll all catch fire. It's possible. It's first cleaning up, though. All professional monster hunters keep a bottle of bleach on Yes, him. absolutely. Mm. Bleach is your Send free. Why would we try that? Well, what? Broadside works. Yeah. Good concentration. Coca Cola takes blood off the asphalt. I fall back to bleach. Okay. Well, if you're OCD, you also take the luminol. How do you know that? Clean up the little traces of blood. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yes, good point. Yeah. Many cops have a two-liter Coke in their truck. Just Especially if you're worried about contagion, what? you know, you need the little luminol. Oh, okay. Just the... Oh, I guess it foams. I don't know something about it. It foams up. I can't remember if it's Coke or Diet Coke, but I'm pretty sure it's regular Coke. Or it's, yes, it's true. Maybe. 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 It's trying to eat my brain, but it's so clean. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you have to French little profile while you're doing this game. Clean you know, eyes. Local authorities find out that you've got bleach, and you've got edged weapons, and you've got wooden bullets. Latex gloves. Yeah, I mean, they, they think it's a little odd. Either that or they want to hire you. Well, well that's you could just be really kinky. Yeah, I was going to say, professional you know, staff you know, staff you know, staff 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 sta
actual walking in dead. You know, the they're almost alive, but they actually are dead. That doesn't really qualify as zombie. The reanimated? Yeah. Uh, uh, like Provide so copious quantities of coffee. They may revive. <laughs> I'll say, is this like the people yeah, that are like, wandering through Costco with the really big carts? Yeah. Not paying attention? <laughs> I don't think technically they're on And you look <laughs> and in the back of the head, and there's a bullet just barely sticking out of the yeah. back of the head. There's Caffeine no, deficiency. What do they have? A bulletproof yeah. skull? <laughs> there's no, there's no bounty on those. So Small caliber weapons aren't necessarily reliable. Yeah. Oh, true. It depends on how you use them. Well, yeah. true. The mob seems to do pretty well with little. Right, but again, I think it comes back down to the way to deal with this is fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if, if you, yeah. I mean, what you want to do is you, you want to try and uh, cordon and corral them. You know, terrain features, natural or artificial, are, are your friend here. Thornbush runs, uh, earthen berms, shopping carts. Yeah. Uh oh's. Um, flaming tires, you know, it, it, get, it gets down to the point where it, it, you've been discovered, you don't need to keep a low profile anymore. Fire is good for channeling them. And then you want to kill as many as possible to create a blockage, and then you want to pour fire into the area. You know, uh, farm, farm equipment works really well. Yes. yes if does. you need backup, your yep. two best resources are, if you can't get the ATF, go for the Philly police. <laughs> yes. Uh, snow blowers. And log chippers are wonderful for zombies. Uh, the snowblower, the snowblower, you have to run at high speed on a coarse setting, and you <laughs> have to roll to the uh, But then you need some, someone coming along to flame that. Yes. But if you can get a, a good drum uh, chipper growing with some kind of hopper, you'll have to fabricate the hopper. You, you can just funnel them in and have a puree, basically. Has anyone ever lived up uh, like northern Michigan where they have uh, what do they call uh, snow and goes? The big Super snow blowers on the right. front of tractors. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. yes. those things you can just cut a path right through a zombie. You, or you bring a bleach, you bring a, a bleach spray on the uh, in the middle stage, and uh, that will like you know it, it, it's being combined, and that will actually. What is zombosi? You know, a zombosi. Yes. 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 Works too. Oh. 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 Do the oh, no. you flatten them. Oh, I don't recommend the chainsaw solution. <laughs> it looks flashy, but it's rather permanent. And you're spraying blood everywhere. Yeah. Uh, you know, awesome. how can you get a job with that kind of body modification? Really? He's talking about, he's talking about the, uh, the Ash Pie. Oh, right, yes. Uh, in fact, some of the zombie squad, uh, zombiehunters.org is the site, um, hired me to, or, or paid me, to make him a bayonet mount for his <coughs> chainsaw. As in, you want to put a bayonet on the chainsaw. You know, well, plenty of metal on the bottom. No, I saw, I saw the, the chainsaw bayonet on an AR. The problem is that's battery powered and it's not very long and it was on a carbine. You know, I mean, you don't want to let me get that close. It's like one step and also, with battery power, you're not going to have a lot of torque. And you're not I've got the Swiss chainsaw on there. On, on chainsaws, just remember, um, overswing is bad for the people you're working with. They're loud. <laughs> <laughs> you get a gyroscopic action, which makes them hard to maneuver because they inherently want to stabilize where they are, and they're splattering zombie bits yeah. everywhere. Cool. Come up. Friendly yeah. fire isn't. Yeah. 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 Not, not an iron yeah. for the beginners. You definitely yeah. do not want that if you have any open wounds. Yeah. It's elastic. Oh, yes, yes. And also, are they supernatural zombies or infectious zombies? Or cybernetic zombies? Or, or uh, really? magic? Magic zombies. If they're yeah. infectious, uh, chainsaw bad. I mean, they were just zombies <laughs> raised by a priest. I mean, that's. Since we're talking about using garden implements for fighting the undead, though, uh, is there some way we could modify a weed whacker to be an effective The garden weapon? weasel. Oh, the garden weasel. <laughs> yeah. The garden weasel is a lethal implement. <laughs> Almost as effective as the combat. I want that. Korean <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tech Combat Wombat is one of the most advanced weapons ever, though, but the Garden Weasel is close to the second. Yeah. So. Um, you could probably put silver wa silver wire, or at least heavy gauge wire, onto a weed whacker and use that. that but but again, you run into the same problem with the chainsaw. Laid. Right, yeah. Uh, be, but yeah, have a shield there. Uh, that little gas powered, that. powered cultivator, you know, the mantis. The rotator. But yeah. you bless yeah. it first. That way it's a praying mantis. Hey, don't be afraid to think outside the box. Yeah. So one was one infestation. I knew a guy who was one of the lone survivors. He went to the music the amusement park, got up, he uh, raided a sword place first, and mm -hmm. he got every samurai sword he could, and, and he duct taped them all along the outside edge of the carousel, and got in the center, and turned it on, and made a lot of noise, and just let it run until the infestation was over. It's rather impressive. The zombies came at him, and the blades just cut them down. Keep the yeah. stick it outside the box. I bought one of the motorized lawnmowers, and just run Absolutely. them over. Yes. 
Well, which one do is to take the shields off so you have to blaze Have anyone been there? Have you seen the documentary film? Um, so you like what? The, oh, uh, uh, for Peter Jackson, the documentary yeah. film uh -huh. with where you had the lawnmower at the end, and he kills like fifty zombies in a, in a living room. Man. No, 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 dead alive. Because, dead alive. Dead alive. You don't want to be picking where lawnmower up though because you lose fingers. Oh, yeah. you, you yeah. have to. You have to see how he is. Very well yeah. done. We have questions here. Yeah. So, so well, like I was wondering about the forcibly reanimated. I mean, the people who had been dug up and put back together and the electrodes jammed into the necks and all of a sudden. Well, they they dead or not? They, yes. You have to feel sympathetic. Well, they're kind of like a cross between an undead and a golem. You have to Would feel sympathetic, but you can't let that get in the way of survival. I mean, Would an EMP work? The reason with these Ooh. With, with the forcibly reanimated? Not they, the ones they've talked to an attorney and, and found out they don't have a cause of action. Okay. Yeah. Mind you, it doesn't matter if you can reason with it since you can shoot it either way, and it's far what, easier. What you have to watch out for, though, with, with any of them, I'm glad you brought up the legal issue. You know, as far as the IRS is concerned, if they're paying taxes, they're human. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and there are going to be legal repercussions for eliminating any of them. Right. Because even though they're undead, as far as the government is concerned, they're alive. They're taxpayers. They, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want to lose the, the income base. Oh, the vampires, the and the horses, you know, of course. Yes, yeah, so the vampires do have a lot for the Peter. people who are going seeking the vampire, or vampire, zombie, whatever, undead vote, they're going to be wanting, certainly want, wanting, want the representation in the House, so they want to make sure that not only do you not kill them, but we get a good, solid count on them as well. Actually, you can get politicians to look the other way if you can provide them sufficient evidence that... Um, the undead are making their own voting choices. Yes. Oh yes. Oh, you guys remember this year when the, with the for those of you who got the big census form and did you notice the undead box? <laughs> they snuck that in there this year. Was it made of pie? <laughs> <laughs> it was a hard one. <laughs> We've got about uh, five minutes left. Uh, any questions on things we haven't covered? <laughs> we haven't covered uh, animated skeletons. I was thinking about animated skeletons. Um, again, fire pallets. Yeah, fire pallets. You can play with fire pallets. They're not going to burn because they're already break, with, break the long yeah. bones. That immobilizes them. Then you give time. Then you get, give you time to dust the. Yeah, but if they're animated, they're strengthened, right? It depends on the animation, though, yeah, because yeah. if it's cellulose, then a good acid bath will work. One that works really good for skeletons every single time. 30 parts sevonium nitrate, one part aluminum powder. <laughs> but bullets, yeah, bullets are, are less effective because you know, you, you've got less... Mm, less you, you, need, you need to have precision, pre precision arming with fairly heavy caliber to be able to, again, break the long bones to mobilize them. Buck I shot. don't Buck recommend mallets if you have ADHD. <laughs> so, but a good sledgehammer would do you in good stead for, for skeleton. Cause well, a mallet would be a sledgehammer. Well, you want to. Well, you can, it's very much with shattering. But there's too much follow through. You on just a big have hammer. to have enough well, focus. Yeah, sledgehammer. Leave it to the big guy. In your you want the big well, one yeah. mallet things for ten sticks. Since yeah. we've really been looking at the hybrids, um, so like a prospector's pick or a rock hand pick. But longer. Yeah, you, yeah, want, you, you want, want a longer hand. Firefighter's axe. Yeah, that would be good. I've got one in my room. So these skeletal werewolves, are they like and they chew on the themselves every so often? <laughs> like they, take, oh. they pull their limb bones off and bury them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just wonder. Yeah, that does slow them down. It makes them easy to spot. But, uh, uh, that's why you don't see many of them around. Because they see how it's... Play fetch with themselves? Yeah. yeah. Sound like real rats. They're easily distracted. But aren't they easy to hear coming when they wag their tails? Yes. Well, not easy to hear, but yeah, it's... It's not quite like a rattlesnake rattle, but you can definitely hear it. It's, it's more like wind chimes. Can you bait werewolves with house cats? Yes. yes. In fact, I encourage it. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was feral a traditional cats. sport. I use feral cats for that. I'm allergic to cats. I, I, uh, I don't we, like we've cats. got a very excellent cat in our house who brings us something dead every day, <laughs> and twice now she's brought us a live squirrel and let it loose inside the house. <laughs> she, she understands. It's a warrior cat. <laughs> she understands the threat that we're facing. Knows that we have a stockpile of food and wants a breeding stock. For the Was it live or undead? No, they, no, they, they they were live. And you've never seen action until you've seen a live squirrel in a house full of four cats. <laughs> it redefines oh schizo. That's good training. Yes. If you want some real... Now, is it good training, good training, or good training, good training? <laughs> yes. If you want some real, wait until the cat brings you back the dead red-tailed hawk. That would be disturbing, yes. Either one night. Kitty? 
Kitty. Really? Kitty. How did you do that? <laughs> Kitty learned how to shoot. But again, they bring me something dead, I make sure of it. I, I make sure it is in fact dead. Yes, when in doubt, cut the head off. Yes. Yeah. 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 Unless it's a starfish, then burn it. But is it no, possible no, that the cats are in on the conspiracy? We, we, have, we haven't covered that, yeah. Un, undead uh, un, undead uh, crustaceans and another My one. My worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I, un undead I, don't know, I think I, th I think I, I think um, everyone in red lobster is going down. <laughs> yeah, because you would be mildly undead <laughs> lobsters. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna take revenge. Well, they're aquatic cockroaches. Yes, I mean, giant aquatic well, cockroaches. Have you guys heard about the zombie? There are there is yeah. a zombie crab. If you guys, this is true story. You look up on the internet, zombie crab. There's a certain parasite that will kill the crab, and the body remains animated for a while to spread the parasite. Yeah, that's exactly. I am not. Man, and when this, this and when this parasite it makes it cross the when, yes. when it jumps the species barrier, that's when and the zombie apocalypse is. Look up, look up. While you're doing this, if you really want to freak yourself up, look up parasite tongue. Oh, I'll leave oh it there. God! There's oh one God! There. What are you yeah. talking about? Oh God! There's, there's one for ants that does the same thing. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 zombie ants are tree. a terrifying concept. Zombie fire ants are even scarier. Yeah. No. This makes this makes the 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 yeah. I about zombie killer ants. Ironically, yeah. they're still burning. Oh, my, uh, my grandfather was Royal Air Force. My mother spent several years back when it was Rhodesia. He, he was based there. What they do for ant outbreaks down there is you put your bedpost into cans of into pans of kerosene. Um, I've heard that. The, the ants can't cross that. So that. That's an important thing. But make sure you don't have any blankets hanging down to the ground. Or so like undead can't cross water. Well, yeah, well, not much can cross you know, kerosene. kerosene. <laughs> uh, we're just about done. Uh, so, right right Dan? Right here. Yeah, right one final question. <laughs> Dan, what do you think um, is going to happen to the traditional pale gray vanquishers um, now that this past election has brought us, I think it was 56 undead representatives and another six senators that are undead? Well, heck, we elected, we elected um, a November dead... promises even more. Missouri elected a dead uh, senator several years ago. Uh, yeah, I didn't really have a problem with that. It's that they put a live person in, in his place. Um, West Virginia and South Carolina have had that for years. Legislation because yes. They want to protect their own. You're going to see more and more of that. Back when I was young, we didn't have Strom Thurmond. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you did have Robert Byrne. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Chuck, uh, last I'm wondering question. if anybody on the panel is concerned with scientists wanting, sort of what happened with the smallpox vaccine, that they want to keep one undead alive because if the nature of the undead is that as long as they have something to hunt, they keep moving, you essentially have the temptation of a perpetual motion machine. No, it's, it's stem cells, but you can combat that with a moratorium. Oh. Yeah, I do have to wonder, is like the movement of really. a zombie limited by the supply of ATP in its body, or...? There, there, it depends on the type of zombie, there is speculation that effect. Yeah. You know, or juju. Without <laughs> ATP, yeah, or you know, juju. Muscle, <laughs> it does stop. Yeah. Uh, that, that's a very, I, I think it would be safe to keep one for uh, scientific research as long as it was solidly secured inside a facility and was not allowed out. You know, they can do remote. Uh, do it, do it, it on the non-fault. Sorry? Yeah, they did it with smallpox. Yes. Mike, Mike, you've just described graduate students. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure those are graduate students? I would double check when you got to well, I mean, you just you just said you know you, you might be able to combat them if it's an ATP problem. You definitely need a pharmacologist on your side. Absolutely. Okay. What about I would suggest with your lab with your um, with your uh, graduate students when you get back to the lab, just hit them with a hammer and see if you get a pain reaction. <laughs> you got you, you got one of my texts right there. You got one of my texts. As a tech, I'd like to point out I, that's not the same as a grad that, student. That's hurt. He's <laughs> healing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stretch. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I think we've had a, a very informative uh, panel here. Uh, if you come across any further research, you know, make sure it's uh, disseminated.